all these posts about how unfun chaos is and now this. So many posts in this subreddit are about how unfair, unfun chaos is to fight in Space Marines 2. So, I don't know about unfair. Sometimes they can be a pain because of, like, certain fire attacks and stuff like that. Unfun? Uh, I don't know. I don't understand where this comes from. I do believe it comes from melee players. Because, basically, you go up to the chaos, you melee them. They're not really going to melee back with you. They're not sword fighting at all. They're just going to keep shooting you. Um, I guess they have a couple attacks that can be annoying. Oh, their teleport. Their teleport can be a little bit annoying. But for the most part, I don't really get... At least I don't really fully understand the hate for chaos. So, I definitely wanted to see the community's reaction to this post. Because apparently there's also a bug. Now there's even a bug where chaos marines will do a triple shot after being broken out of calling for reinforcements. Well, that's rough. <laughs> that's, that's not good. Uh... A bug where Chaos Marines will do a triple shot. I wonder how they notice that. If you are not expecting this to happen, it will hit you, and the stun lock that attack gives you leaves even more room for chip damage from squishies. If you are playing on a harder difficulty, this means you lose a good chunk of health, because we all know that fighting Chaos basically is a no armor debuff. Oh, sheesh. There are countless other posts on this sub talking about how to make chaos more fun to fight. So go check those out if you want a more ideas on what makes this faction so unfun. Okay, sure. Um, but for the most part, hmm, let's see if I can think of something. Most of it just comes down to like poise. I feel like, especially with certain enemies like in the game where like they have attacks that are extra damaging, you can't block them. And, like, even if you hit them with a charge attack, it, you know, won't stun them. So, some of that stuff, I feel like, can be adjusted. But it did come to my attention that apparently there's a perk that helps you with poise damage. But not 100% sure on that. This bug com combined with the straight cheese that is chaos. <laughs> like, oh, man. Okay. Makes missions 3 through 5 boycott worthy, in my opinion. Whoa, mission 3 is pretty good. I like mission 3. Mission 3 is one of my just, like, I just can, like, breeze through it. <laughs> it's kind of just a fun mission to hang out on. I know there's the one mission with the the puzzle where you gotta like you know line up the tracks. That mission, oh boy, I just I just avoid that one at all costs. We'll definitely be waiting till next patch to attempt lethal on these missions. Did the same thing with the proximity armor, and look how that turned out. So that's interesting. So I guess they really think chaos is a problem on lethal. I can see where the triple attack shot on lethal could probably just take you out in one shot. That would be a problem. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know. Interesting. Oh, they said they're on PS5. Not sure if it's a platform-specific bug. Well, for the most part, I guess let me know in the co uh, in the comments if this happened to you, the triple shot. But I'm, I'm also going to see the community's reaction to this because I have heard that Chaos is not fun to fight. I always just assumed it was like a melee class-specific thing, but... Yeah, if it's not, I want to hear about it. Honestly, Mission 3 is one of the fastest missions for experience grinds. I, I thought so. It is a pretty fast one. But, okay. Apparently, we have a little bit of a heads up what makes this mission such a pain to run. But I think that's a moot point. Personally, I'll still play and enjoy Chaos missions. But it's much trickier to keep health than any other Tyranid missions. And it's not even close. Just the way Chaos Major uh, Extremists spam ranged over melee makes the combat much more conservative and less enjoyable okay well that's interesting yeah if they just spam that is true they are pretty much heavily ranged like enemies you can't really block just gunshots the entire time unless you're a bulwark i guess um yeah okay that that yeah that makes sense i guess uh, i don't know like you don't want to nerf their ranged attacks <sighs> I don't know, that's interesting. I think plenty of the core players would rather engage with the game's mechanics than min-max for XP, especially on lethal. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Where the problem OP is presenting is especially prevalent. Is I wonder if they're I wonder if they're talking about the triple shot. Um I think plenty of core players would rather get I mean you're still engaging with the game's mechanics. It is a like we have guns. <laughs> like to shoot the guys. Uh but yeah, I understand where that would be less enjoyable if you have like less freedom for combat i understand that um yeah I, I dude i look we talk about nerfs and buffs so much on this channel recently because of the patches and 
new difficulty, so there's definitely a lot of things to iron out. Uh, I would hate to say that Chaos needed a nerf or anything like that. Um, I do understand what they're talking about, that those missions could be tough. But if that's the case, if lethal is, you know, if Chaos missions are pain on lethal, that just might have to be the case. <laughs> uh, not the same thing with the bug. If there's a triple shot bug, that needs to be fixed. And, I don't know, maybe... Maybe certain Chaos enemies could just have, like, a nerf in health or something, but... I like it. I like it when the game's a little bit dangerous, you know? Just, you know, it has to be... <laughs> it has to have, like, counterplay or something like that. God, Ruthless and Lethal Chaos is such a drag as a melee class. Nothing funner than, like, six rubrics teleporting around the area rapidly, emptying your armor as you chase them down. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a pain. You definitely need help in that situation. I hope you're with your team. All while, all while you dodge sniper lasers and spun shield. Oh, no, that's true. The little guys with the shields, they actually annoy me the most. Because you can sit there with, like, a combat knife and just swing off on these guys. Let's say you don't go for the gun strike. There's likely going to be a gun strike. Um, they can just block all that. Uh, you can definitely do, like, a heavy attack. But it is kind of crazy how, how powerful their shields can be, though. Interesting. <laughs> That, it just gets annoying when there's a bunch of them, you know, because you'll be swinging off and they'll just be eating it And you don't want to gun strike because you're kind of open when you do that when you're getting mobbed, but I don't know I don't know <laughs> This is the first time I've ever seen this mentioned though And I'm you know it kind of cracks me up because I always thought their shields were a little strong But you know what you got to be careful got to be careful You can't just swing off on a shield if they're blocking it I know exactly what you're talking about, and it's so cheap. They skip the entire knockback animation from stopping their call, as well as the startup animation for the unblockable attack and instantly hit you. Okay, so, hey, this guy noticed it. Apparently it is animation specific. So it's definitely something that's fixable. For the record, this is the first time I'm ever hearing about this bug, so I'm not, I'm not surprised it's something we missed. Especially in the higher difficulties. I can see where, you know, paying attention to how you died and stuff like that is definitely really important. But that's that's funny. I never even mentioned this. Or not, I never even saw this even running, like, mission, chaos mission, missions just for, like, XP or whatever. Huh. Okay. Well, yeah, they definitely need to fix that. That is absolutely insane. Another reason to continue to never play Chaos Operations. So, I'm not going to go as far as to say I don't ever want to play Chaos Operations. One of my favorite enemies in the game is the Chaos Wizard guy. <laughs> okay, so I get it. He can be annoying because he, like, obstructs your view and he teleports around. But he's super cool. He is a an armored-up wizard with this giant, like, a halberd-type weapon that I hope we get one day. Uh, and dude, he just looks super cool. Also, he's super satisfying to get the execution on because of how much he can just like teleport around and annoy you. Uh, Chaos, especially Chaos Marines, I really enjoy the executions on them. I enjoy the executions on Tyranids too, but I enjoy gun striking Tyranids. So I don't know. There's kind of like a like a unique way to take them out, but I don't know. Either way, either way, really enjoy fighting that Chaos Wizard. <laughs> he's just he's just super cool. The gulf and fun between fighting Tyranids and Thousand Suns is vast, with Tyranids, of course, being more fun. Yeah, I'll say they're definitely more fun to mob. Like, in a mob with Tyranids, that's, yeah, that's 100% true. But if I was doing a 1v1, I mean, I guess, I guess it depends if I'm a melee class or not. I don't know. Either way, there's a lot of hate on Chaos, and I do think uh, a lot of the crit- Well, I don't know about a lot, but- the criticism <laughs> Chaos gets is valid, uh, but like for the most part, I do think they bring something unique to what we're fighting. Like I enjoy gunfights in this game. I also enjoy melee. I can see where teleporting is annoying, but for the most part, if you really focus a unique Chaos Marine and take them down, it just feels super good. I clear lethal Chaos Ops all the time without issue. I even clear them on the weekend after a few beers without issue whoa <laughs> okay <laughs> that yeah that sounds like a good time chaos ops are more difficult than nids for sure but these threads that portray them as this sort of completely broken unbeatable i boycott chaos ops problem are a little disingenuous okay fair enough 
I do, again, I do think there's certain parts about the Chaos Marines that, you know, that I, I understand that can be annoying. You, you, my, one of, again, I really enjoy fighting the Chaos Wizard. He has annoying things with him, so, you know. It's like one of those things where it's like, yeah, but we kind of need something to be threatening, you know? But, yeah, I understand where certain classes are getting absolutely, like, range diffed. <laughs> I know I will be downvoted for saying it, but at a certain point, personal skill comes into the equation. The fact that you are implying that you haven't even been able to clear Chaos Ops on lethal yet, even post-nerf, tells me that this is a more of a you problem. Okay, um, I got, look, lethal is the, sh like, the hardest difficulty in the game. Uh, I'm super excited to try out lethal soon. I have been, again, like, I, yeah, I've been grinding mission three to just level up some of my classes. I'm going to try lethal when I'm, like, level 18 or something like that. I think that's the lowest I feel comfortable joining a group of randoms with. Um, and, yeah, I'm going to go in with the bulwark. It's going to be an interesting experience, and I'm excited for it. I, I needed uh, something just a little bit more intense from doing all that easy mode grinding for experience. But, yeah, for the most part, I, you know... I, I look forward to dealing with these issues. So apparently this guy thinks it's more of a skill issue than a chaos problem. <laughs> I know the sub hates that phrase, but it's true, and I'm tired of pretending it's not. Okay, but you gotta give him credit on the bug. The bug is definitely something that could really destroy runs. Because uh, you're supposed to be punishing them for calling reinforcements, and that's going to be the opening to destroy them as well. If they can just counter your punishment instant speed that's an issue could chaos use some tweaks sure but unplayable boycott worthy can't won't clear even on lethal come on get good okay <laughs> apparently lethal's not very hard this guy thinks everyone who plays the game should be able to do it of course if you lose in lethal it's a skill issue but yeah i don't know i think i don't know i think there's a couple points that are to be had with this uh chaos situation <laughs> It's not even a big deal. I do get this guy's point where it's like, dude, yeah, chaos can be annoying, but, you know, there has to be something annoying in the game. Otherwise, it's going to be too easy. Um, and who knows? What if this guy's really bad and we don't even know? <laughs> you know what I mean? What if we actually, like, saw him play and it's like, oh, okay, he's actually just playing, you know, with his team and they can get down a chaos op. You know, it is what it is. But, yeah, for the most part, I understand what they're coming from or where they're coming from, but eh, if there's something that could be fixed with the bug, they need to fix it. Man, chaos isn't that bad. They just take more to kill, and you have to be careful not to overcommit to attacks so you can dodge. In my opinion, people are being a bit dramatic. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, but they go on to talk about the bug here and how dodging is a bit compromised. Dodging is one of the main issues with this. If you are not expecting this and at low health, it's basically an instant app closure. If you're not expecting it, <laughs> what if you're what if you're expecting to get immediately punished? Um, yeah, they definitely need to fix that. I haven't experienced the bug, so I'll take your word for it. Sounds annoying. I used to get wrecked by the flamer AOE attack because I was attacking too fast and got stuck in the blast. Yeah, I, yep, that's uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, cause yeah, I just want to keep hitting them. I just want to keep hitting them. But yeah, I can get stuck in the uh, the blast as well. Learned to slow down my attack timing a bit so I had time to react and not get stuck in the animation. Yeah, it's easy enough to do that. Um, but I, I think that's a different situation than the uh, calling for reinforcements thing for sure. Um, but yeah, for the record, that flamer AOE attack is a good example of A, why they should keep dodges consistent throughout all the difficulties. Or at least, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure Ruthless and Lethal are the same, so that's good enough. Um... But, yeah, changing dodges can be really, really detrimental to in invading attacks like that. And B, that, yeah, there is just certain attacks out there that are going to be tough. They're going to be strong attacks. You can't get punished by them. If you get hit by that Flamer AoE attack, it should hurt. It should hurt a lot. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty telegraphed attack that will punish you for being overly aggressive. So eventually you'll learn how to time your attacks better, like this person's saying, and figure it out. But for the most part, I, I don't I trust that whoever's watching this video knows this already. So we really wanted to get down to a more of like, is there a real problem? And if this bug exists, then yeah, there's a real problem with chaos. And then otherwise, if you're not seeing this bug a lot, then some of this stuff is within 
yeah, within your like decision making to avoid, basically. I don't I don't want to say so much as a skill issue, more than it's more like pattern recognition. So it's it comes with experience. You'll get better. So it's not like your skill won't ever get better. So I don't know. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, this was kind of enlightening. I never really understood why people hated chaos, and I kind of get it. But I, I understand it more if this bug is a persistent thing. So definitely let me know in the comments if this bug has affected you. Uh, I can't recall if I ever seen it. Now that I understand what it is, though, I'll definitely keep an eye out for it.